More than 24 hours later, we still don't know what exactly caused part of this North Palm Beach bridge to collapse. The Florida Department of Transportation received an emergency declaration that will help speed up repairs. The collapse has some starting to worry about other bridges in our community. New at 530 tonight, Alyssa Hyman spent the day digging through FDOT data and she's learned there's a handful of bridges that need work. Alyssa. Jay, there are four bridges in the county that are considered to be structurally deficient, meaning they either need significant maintenance, repairs, or even replacement. And for some Jupiter folks, yesterday's incident has them thinking twice about a bridge that needs a lot of work. Just one day after part of this bridge in North Palm Beach collapsed. Bridges collapsing on their own aren't exactly a, a good thing for anybody. Driver Timothy Fides is thinking twice about his drive to work. I was thinking about taking 95 instead. And he's not just thinking about the US-1 bridge that collapsed on Wednesday. Fides is now worried about this US-1 bridge in Jupiter, where he works as a captain for CETO. I mean, you see the band-aids on the pillars, obviously don't want to be person on the bridge or driving when something like that happens. It's one of the four bridges in Palm Beach County that the Florida Department of Transportation categorizes as structurally deficient. It's a 59 year old bridge and the sufficiency rating, which takes into account safety, got a grade of 54 out of 100. But unlike those three other bridges, this Jupiter bridge, which is also managed by FDOT, is still waiting on its official plans. Now they've told us it's not unsafe, but it definitely needs to be replaced. Todd Wudraska is the mayor of Jupiter and says he has some concerns. Right now, I think the plan is that they're going to replace the bridge in 2021. Uh, you know, I don't think that there's any safety issues based on all the reports I've gotten, uh, but given what happened right around the corner in North Palm Beach, I, I think we're going to have to ask the question. And there will be a public hearing on the Jupiter Bridge project next week. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Alyssa Hyman, WP.